Hello, everyone. My name is Margaret, and my research is about technology's impact on gender equity in the handicraft sector. Handicraft is defined as the skillful making and fashioning of products by hand. Handicraft sector usually small and medium-sized enterprises in the so-called developing world plays a very important role in sustaining local economies. For the artisans, it was part of their history, heritage, and the way they and their village developed along with the art form. When craft products cross geographic boundaries, they carry with them the culture of a particular location and help spread this culture from one part of the world to another. In many developing countries, handicraft production is predominantly female-dominated. Yet their labor is not always recognized as formal, leading to gaps in rewards and healthcare. Compared to men, women are more likely to make the decision to choose informal work, and among informal workers, male workers are paid more than their female counterparts. Thus, my research question is about the interplay between technology and gender equity within the handicraft sector. How does the integration of digital technology affect women in the handicraft industry? And I turn my attention to existing research with a particular focus on a case study in Uganda. My findings can be summarized under three key themes: challenges with new technology in handicraft, digital inequalities, and the influence of Western branding and imagery. Firstly, the challenges associated with new technology in handicraft: illiteracy, unorganized practices. And financial constraints hinder the integration of technology in this sector. Women who are central to this industry often bear the brunt of these challenges. Digital inequalities further compound this situation. A lack of digital literacy impedes artisans from participating in e-commerce, limiting their access to a broader market. Especially where women are not fully integrated into the workforce, gender divides in the use of technology may be particularly large, and micro factors such as a lack of government support amplify the challenges faced by these artisans. The influence of Western branding and imagery adds another layer of complexity. The imagery is shaped around stereotypical semantic constructions of so-called developing women from the global south. Women's work is defined in the context of gender, racial, and ethnic hierarchies, reproducing ideologies that define women as non-workers and advancing neoliberal logics of women's development. The discussion turns to two aspects. First, we we acknowledge the need for increased support in integrating technology within the handicraft sector, especially for the women artisans. This support extends beyond the institutional level to the individual level, recognizing the agency of these women. Then people should critically examine the representations of handicraft women on social media, the fetishization and colonial discourse perpetuated through imagery impact the way these women are perceived. It's crucial to empower their own voices, allowing for authentic representation and challenging stereotypes. That's all my presentations. Thank you for your attention.